Bang on the Treasure Coast, an escaped prisoner is back in police custody after he escaped from Longwood Hospital. It was there he was receiving treatment. We've been following the story for you since early this afternoon. Angela Rozier is live in Port St. Lucie with how police finally found him. I can tell you that suspect captured near the wooded area here behind me, and it was a joint effort between the task force and the Port St. Lucie canine unit. Port St. Lucie police shared this photo. Escape prisoner Ernest Reese was captured in a wooded area near Southwest Daisy Street at around 1.30 Monday afternoon. This is a preserve over there, and every now and then, you know, we have coyotes and things like that, but we've never had a prisoner back there. Investigators say Reese was captured with the assistance of the U.S. Marshals Task Force and the police canine unit. The deputy spotted him, and um, he went to get up and run. We repositioned on the other side of that woodlot, and he pretty much came right to us with his hands up. The suspect was captured some six hours after he fled from Fort Pierce Police after a visit to HCA Lawnwood Hospital. He claimed to be faint. Uh, officer brought him into the hospital, got him some water, brought him back out, let him sit in the curb because he was in a, a smaller vehicle and Ernest was a larger man, and he, when he let him sit in the curb, he... The officer let him get too far away and he took off. Police say while in handcuffs, Reese carjacked and drove this sedan to Port St. Lucie and then dumped the car. The car was processed and the driver, who was not injured, was allowed to retrieve the vehicle. Investigators learned a female friend of the suspect who lived nearby dropped him off to a location near St. Lucie Boulevard. He was captured shortly afterwards. Police say Reese was originally in custody in connection with a domestic violence incident and an outstanding warrant. But now he's got some new charges to go along with that. And Reese was transported to the St. Lucie County Main Jail. Again, he is facing additional charges, including carjacking. Reporting live in Port St. Lucie, Angela Rozier, WPBF 25 News.